so here we are. We are in the lettuce house tonight. Um, actually, this um, video is dedicated to Fenster Farm Greenhouse. Hey, Chuck. Um, Chuck has been asking a lot of questions and uh, about our, our um, lettuce house. You have to go and check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description below. So Wayne is going to answer all of his questions and all of your questions that you may have. So here we go. This yeah. is Wayne. Hello everybody. Hi Chuck. I got a little information for you here and I hope this helps. We'll go through the whole greenhouse from step one right to the end. And as you go through it, as we go through it, it's pretty simple once you understand it. You know, I built all this just watching videos on YouTube. And you can see down here, I'm growing this stuff 12 months a year. Uh, and we never stop. There's about 10,000 plants in here now. And we've been running for about two years now. So we're start starting to get some of the little kinks out of the system. And things are moving along pretty good. So we'll start right up here. I've got a heat mat here. It doesn't run much this time of year, but in the cool nights it'll still come on. It's set at 68 degrees. And you can see I use a product called Oasis. I find it very easy to work with. Uh, things germinate great. Uh, leaves no mess in the system at the end of the day. So I mean, that's the one I've chosen to use. I seeded these yesterday. And I don't know if you can see inside here. It's getting close. But I oh, use yeah. all pelleted seed pretty much, uh, except for my herbs. But all the lettuce is uh, our pelleted seeds. We're putting through about 2,000 heads of lettuce a week here in the summer months with a bunch of herbs as well and kale and Swiss chard. You can see down here I've got some basil here. This was planted about, about eight days ago, I guess seven, eight days ago. So some, this was up on the heat mat though, right? Yes. Okay. So we leave it there till it germinates and then we bring it down into these troughs. And what you can see, they're actually running right now. You can see the water running through. These run three times a day for 15 minutes, and that's all they need. You can see farther back, I've got some kale, Swiss chard, lots of arugula. People love the arugula. It's a big, good grower. I have some celery started. I play around with celery. It's okay. It doesn't grow really great. I get any size to it, but uh, it's still fun to grow. And you can see I have some over here. That's about a month old now. The flavor is phenomenal. It just doesn't get as stocky as you'd like, but it still goes good in our weekly food box program. So after we they transplant out of here, they're about 11, 10 to 11 days old in the summertime and up to 14 days in the winter. We've got some cool white light underneath. We take them over to our, our nursery section see down here the next 40 or 50 troughs we have our nursery section. The holes are very close together just to save space. And you can see we've got some beautiful some beautiful Boston lettuce, romaine, again basil, some leaf lettuce, some red romaine, and here's some basil that's a few days older than the left over here. You can see how fast it grows. It just grows phenomenal. So here's the one. And you can see the roots coming through. So these so are about this two. is pretty close to transplant then. Yeah, these are two weeks old. These will actually be getting transplanted into our finishing troughs tomorrow. Tomorrow's the harvest day for us for the Wednesday market. So we move over here and you can see the Boston. Just beautiful. This will be going to the farmer's market tomorrow. No. Wednesday. Oh yeah, on Wednesday. Pardon me, on Wednesday. So we grow about seven or eight different varieties of lettuce. Uh, I mean, you could narrow it down to three or four, but I kind of like playing around just to see. And you get more weight out of others, and we sell most of our lettuce by the pound or half pound. Uh, we do sell quite a few heads, but the majority of it is by in a mix. Seems to go quite well. Uh, so Chuck, you want to know a little bit about how the system ran? So he wants to know we'll the start tank. Back here. Yeah, let's go up here. So. so I have a 750 gallon tank set in. It was underground at one time, so don't make the same mistakes I did. 
the water table came up, so did the tank. So I've had to make some adjustments. So it is now a 250 gallon tank, but it still works out pretty good. We, we change this every four weeks right out. But every day we add 50 gallons, sometimes 100 gallons of top up mix. We still do everything manually here. I know if we had some digital equipment, we might get a little better consistent quality, but you look down this greenhouse and I'm sure no complaints about the quality or, or the amount we put out. These troughs are on a three inch slope, running down, they're 12 feet long. At the far end, there's a, just an eave trough that runs the full length of the greenhouse and it's also sloped and it runs back into the tank. So I'll bring them around and show them the trough that it runs from. Yeah, it's, it's, it gets clean though all the time. So you can see the water running through, or can you? It's a little dark in there. So the water runs out the back end of the trough and into, and it recirculates through and through the tank. Sorry, Wayne, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's just a simple in-ground in swimming pool pump that I have. It's a pump? It's got, it's, it runs great. It gives me about 90 gallons of, a minute of water. I've had no troubles with it over the last two years. We're putting about a half to three quarters of a liter, say half a quart of water a minute through here, and it never stops. 24-7. I have a bank, so every 10, 10 trough, I can actually shut it off if I want to do any maintenance or cleaning. Every time we harvest the lettuce out of these troughs, we sterilize each trough, we run along brush through and wash them. Uh, so we can go through here. We're, put, we're putting the lettuce out pretty quick this time of year. It's about uh, 36 to 42 days. In the, in the winter, it's about another eight to ten days. So you just don't see it this color in the garden. Look at this leaf lettuce; it's beautiful. You know, this is a mural. And they're all—they're all, they're all um, perfectly the same size. It's just—it's amazing. If I had a variety to recommend to anybody, it would be this. Other than Rex, this would be it. And this is called Muir. It's an organic lettuce seed out of Johnny's, here out of Maine. It's phenomenal. Of course, we have the green forest, the romaine. Which isn't of picking size yet. Yeah, so we're getting there. Yep. Where is Here's it? some basil here. Some more basil. That was transplanted last week out of our nursery. So plant. these would have been the same size as you saw in the nursery that Wayne showed you a earlier, ago. a week ago, yeah. So we're playing around here. We've mixed two <coughs> seeds together, some red and green. We'll see how that goes over with the customers. Take that to the market next week. Got some beautiful Boston lettuce here. Look at this, guys. It's just gorgeous. That you know? is beautiful. Yeah, and some more basil. This will go in our <coughs> food box program this week. The flavor and the freshness is just tremendous out of the system. And on this side. So we have double, like we have a laneway with, with the same amount of troughs on e either side, except we don't have a nursery at on the left-hand side over here, as you can see. We have it on that side. 400 troughs in total. 400 troughs in total? In this greenhouse, yeah. I'm hoping they can hear you. So here we have some cilantro. I can't get over how popular this is. That's cilantro. Uh, we can't plant enough of it. And arugula. We have yeah, arugula here. I love arugula. This is, this, oh, that's not much yeah, of arugula. arugula right that's uh, cilantro. You either love it or hate it. And lots of arugula. Now, we've already cut off this once. We'll cut off it again on Thursday. And we'll, we'll keep it for one more cutting. And then we'll dispose of the leftovers. And we'll keep, keep I have more to go in its place. And then wash the troughs yeah, and great. replant. Three cuttings off each time. And... Uh, it's it's a really good crop to do. Big demand. I love arugula. Oh, here's our kale. Look at this. This is our kale, guys. This is a crop of kale that we harvested 50 pounds last week off this little patch. And look at it. Seven days later, six days later, 
It's fat. It's gonna... amazing what a little sun does, though. When the yeah. sun isn't, we went through a, a, a spell of not a whole lot of sun, and things did slow down. So you have to be aware of that as well. But I mean, everybody goes through that. Even the backyard gardener goes through that. Ooh. This patch of Swiss chard, we've been picking off of this since Christmas. So I would say we picked well over a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds of Swiss chard since Christmas. We are starting now to see some of it slow down, so we, we're replenishing it with some new drops. Every week we take a couple out and add a couple new ones. But look at this, it's just phenomenal. But it, but, and it does stay um, very tender too. Yeah, look at beautiful, not a mark in the leaf. You know, it's just gorgeous. Full of nutrients. And this is called Bright Lights that we yeah. grow. So, so all check nice it's and pretty simple, you know. We have, oh yeah, we can go down, we'll go down to the end, I'll show you our fertilizers. And basically we've had very little problem. We use a product called Essential, which we dip every plant in when we first plant them. And that's just a root conditioner and it's an organic plant material product. Uh, we ha do have to add a little bit of acid to the water on a daily basis, but very little. We have really good water here, so we never have to bring our, ass, our, our pH up. I, in two years I've never had to bring it up. It's always bringing it down a little bit every day maybe two tenths to get it down to five eight, five nine. So you know I use maybe a tablespoon every second day to bring bring the pH down. And other than that, it's been pretty pretty good going right from day one. As you can see too we have a shade cloth, a fifty percent shade cloth over here to help in the summer months. We don't have a water wall. Uh, at some point we might think about putting one in, but right now, being in Northern Ontario, uh, we don't get the real, real hot weather. When we do, it's only for a week or so. Uh, most of the time it's right around the low 20s or mid-70s, so it's pretty good. Uh, I mean, we worry more about when it gets minus 30, minus 40 in the winter months. So that's when we have some problems. Well, a couple people have asked me what fertilizer I'm using. So this is a plant products product, hydroponic water soluble fertilizer. I'm just going to zoom in here. You can see the number 61131. Pretty simple. I'll tell you guys, I just, I put in about uh, 100, 180 grams a no, day. I'm zoomed way in. 180 <laughs> Sorry. grams a day and 50 gallons of water. And about 90, 90 grams of calcium. Which, which is... 15.500 and it's that simple. And look at the product we're getting. Uh, I increased the, P, the EC a little bit in the winter time. Right now we run it about 1, 1, 1, 2. In the winter I'll go up to about 1, 8, 2. Uh, it's really that simple. The only other issue we've ever had in here, you've got to watch out for bugs and that's with anything. So. Uh, in the spring of the year, we have a little pressure in here with aphids. We brought in about 15,000 ladybugs this spring and let them go. And they did their job in here and we followed up with uh, about 6,000 predatory wasps. And they're still in here doing, I see them once in a while doing their work when I see some mummified aphids the odd bit. But essentially the greenhouse is cleaned right out. And I, I don't see us having a problem again until next spring after the pressure being closed up all winter. So there it is, it's pretty simple. You know, if you have any questions, just send them in and I'll help you out any way I can. Thanks guys, see you later.